Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at Logon Vista Orb. This is a program written in C Sharp designed to bring back the Windows Vista Logon animation in modern versions of Windows like Windows 10 and Windows 11. So we go and take a look at the size of the file. We see it is actually quite large at 3,934,208 bytes. So we go ahead and run it. All right, <laughs> wrong operating system. All right, now I'm booting my correct operating system, which is indeed Windows 10. Normally I use the hidden Vista boot screen in Windows 10, but to prove I am indeed using the real Windows 10, I've enabled the default one for this video. And that's our logon animation. So now I'm gonna show you how you guys can get this for yourselves. And no, I did not just dock myself. I have revealed my name on the channel before. All right, so here's how you can actually install this program yourself. So go to the description of this video and click on the link to the GitHub repository for this program. And as you might imagine, this program is indeed open source. Uh, so if you'd like to fork it, make mods for it, or even just check out the source code, you are more than welcome to do that. But besides that, you're going to want to make sure you get the correct version for your CPU architecture. Now there are many different ways to do this, but uh, you can just click the start menu, type in system information, and you'll see here it says x64 base PC. So this is a 64-bit computer. Most are these days, but if the odd chance you have a 32-bit one, uh, you're going to want to make sure you get the 32-bit edition. Okay, so when you have the correct one selected, and you have it saved to wherever you'd like, just double-click on it. This program does all the heavy lifting, so click yes on any prompt dialogs. And now I have this window pop-up, Windows Vista Logon Animation Installer. So just click Install Animation. Alright, now we got a success. The Windows Vista logon animation was successfully installed. Reboot your system if you want to see it in action. Would you also like to add a start menu shortcut to configure the program later? So this gives you the option to change some settings if you would like to customize it further. Uh, you can click yes or no. I mean, if you click no, it'll just give you a local spot you can go to to change it. But if you click yes, you have the convenience of it right in your start menu. And this is actually what it looks like, if you want to see. This, this is the stuff you can change. And the default settings are fine, unless you want to play around and get a custom animation that's completely uh, unrelated to Windows Vista. It's all up to you. Now, let's go reboot the virtual machine and check it out. Alright, our virtual machine is booting back up, so let's get ready to see it in action. And there it is. Working flawlessly. And we have the logon sound too, because uh, I wanted to make it more Vista-like. So this concludes my tutorial on how to get the Windows Vista logon animation back in modern Windows, Windows 10, Windows 11. I have not been able to get this to work on Windows 7 and 8 and 8.1, sadly. Um, I'm sorry to the few people still using those OS's to this day. I've also noticed one interesting thing on Windows 11. The sound tends to fade in for some reason. That seems to be out of my control, but on Windows 10 it works perfectly. So if you still use Windows 10 or you are using Windows 10 IoT Enterprise long-term support channel, you know, you are good to go with this program and you can have the ultimate Vista experience just like you saw on my main computer. And speaking of which, here is a comparison between my normal Windows 10 starting up versus a legitimate Windows Vista boot up sequence.
Well, it feels good to have something back up on the channel again. Honestly, when I don't post for a long time, I get kind of lost as to what I should do to get the channel back up and running again. But one day I had an obsession with Windows Vista's aesthetic, and I really wanted to bring it to my reinstallation of Windows 10. And I also liked that logger animation, so I went and wrote a program, and here I am sharing it with you guys. Well, here's to the future of the channel. Hopefully I don't disappear again.